It was a blast. Your red bird of the Woodrow Wilson Flying Eagles. It was an easy night at the office for you guys tonight. Uh, yeah, uh, I wouldn't say easy because, I mean, we needed a win like this. We needed a confidence booster. So hopefully we can take this win. And we, I, like I told the guys at halftime, uh, really use it as practice to get ready for next week. Was We have a tough week next week. So we can get ready for Princeton and sectionals in, in the near future. So Were you, did, were you uh, really involved in that game last night? Did you watch the game? Ace oh, and Princeton. Oh, yeah, I, I watched it through and through, all the way through. <laughs> so I, I seen it was a close game all the way up until overtime. And, I mean, because I knew it had something to do with who we played with in sectional. So, I mean, I wanted to make sure that I, I got my uh, research done. So It looked like you guys did a really good job tonight. And I, maybe it was stress and practice, just sharing the ball. And, and the ball movement was really good for you guys, too. Right. You guys were making an extra pass to get a better shot. And... You guys were draining a lot of threes, and you were getting to the rim. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, like I said earlier, I mean, I just we just really focused on uh, taking what the defense gives us and uh, pushing the ball in transition. So hopefully this can lead into tougher and harder games where we need it more than we did tonight. I'm going to ask Ron the same thing, but at this point you're, I think, 20 games into the season. Um, are Zion and Kobe no longer really fresh? I mean, they've got about a whole season in. Right. How, how have you seen their transformation as far as where they were game one, where they are game 20? I feel like they're a lot more comfortable on the court, and uh, they're a lot more comfortable in certain situations. Like, defensively, they're they're a lot more intact. On offense, they know their roles, and, I mean, they're playing a lot better within the offense, and I think if they, if they keep it up, I think we can be tough to beat, really. Uh, two things. How – how uh, nice was it for you? And I know he came over from Chad, but see, uh, senior Zion Cousins get a senior night. How much fun is that for you? A guy like you will be in the same situation next year. Well, I mean, we really celebrated him a lot because he's our only senior. And so it really meant a lot to us, and it meant a lot to him. And we wanted to make sure we cherish this night for him. And then you got a guy like Owen get his first real varsity playing mm -hmm. time. And I know you were on the bench at the time, but there was a – there was a focus on getting him the ball, and he finally got that. Right. How much is how fun is it for you guys on the bench to see a guy get a shot and and actually score in the varsity game? Oh, it's super fun because that's something they talked about in practice all the time. Like if he if he gets scored in a varsity game, so I'm happy that we get uh get in a situation like this to where he could get in his first varsity basket. And I mean, it was a big big lift for the team team morale, if you will. I think that everybody knows you're the leader, and you kind of really embraced that role. I've noticed this year, as far as like telling teammates, and maybe even picking them up if they uh, make a mistake. How much fun is it for you to be to be feel like you're molding into that leadership role, and and, and these guys are starting to follow you. Um, well, it not really that they did before, but right. they really are now. Right. Well, it started really uh, before the season, really, because um, I knew that we. Zion's our only senior. Other than that, I'm I'm the lead dog. So if I if I lead by example and show the guys the ropes a little bit, that they'll follow follow close behind. So I mean, if I continue doing my job as a leader, I feel like we'll be really good because they'll continue to follow me. Do you kind of feel like you've helped them along? Because like you were in the same situation. I think you were hurt a little bit your freshman year, right. but you played quite a bit. 16 in a state tournament game um, against Morgantown that year. Do you feel like you have? the tools necessary because you've been there to help these younger guys along, even the sophomores, Walton and uh, Braden Hawkins? Uh, yeah, I believe I do because, one, uh, Kobe and Zion are both, like, natural point guards, but Kobe's formed into, like, a spot-up shooter because he's a sniper, and Zion's formed into, like, a facilitator, which he's really good at. They formed into playing their roles, and I think that my leadership kind of translates down to them because we kind of all play the same position and they see what I see, you know what I mean? And as leader, as a leader, you can tell that. And uh, Jalen and Braden, they're, I mean, they're they're going to be really good. I mean, that's all you can say about them. That's Elijah Ripper. Elijah, we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.